Hello guys, Danny here at Parte. So just wanted to share something, an update with you this morning. Um, I had actually been doing some research yesterday, just pulling together some stuff for our game series. Um, I, I need some visuals because I know me, myself, I learn better if I've got some visuals to sort of lean on. It helps sort of sink it in. So I was doing some research, and I just come across something that uh, I found very interesting. Uh, now, for quite some time, we were being accused of using a 5,000 lumen ultra short throw projector just one inch from the screen. Okay, first of all, it's not just one inch from the screen. There's no way to even get it one inch from the screen because the cords take up too much for that, unless you had the screen floating or something. Uh, but on top of that, we knew from the get-go, even whenever I bought the projector, okay, so this was not a Parte purchase, this was a Danny purchase. And I knew when I was doing the research that it was not a 5,000 lumen projector as it was um, advertised, uh, but it did a great job at what it does for ultra short throw projection. Uh, the Xiaomi's were beautiful little projectors. Now, I know you've got onesie twosie folks out there who hated them. They said the color accuracy was not where it needed to be. And I get that. If you're a purist, it's not going to satisfy you. It only has, I think everything's in 2 2 gamma, so you're not going to have, you know, any 2 4, you know, 2 0, or any of the other gamma settings that you'd be looking for from, you know, a standard long throw projector projector uh, and some of the nicer ultra short throw projectors uh, Sony being absolutely the best I've ever seen but you better be ready to fork out a few thousand dollars in cash so without saying the cost on this I think I paid roughly around fourteen hundred dollars for that projector and it's done a great job it'll continue no doubt to do a great job uh, it doesn't run very loud some people have claimed that it ran very loud actually we never hear it uh, and we're now granted we're setting about i don't know from it probably about 12 feet away 12 12 and a half feet away uh, but it's it's never been heard uh has a great little sound system if you need that i don't use that i always use external speakers but here's the key thing that I think is really important for me to highlight related to this projector. Now, you know, you've seen the videos that we've done in this front room with the lights on. So I'm going to bring something up real quick. Hold on just a second. Okay, so before they had an American version, right? Um, it, basically, you bought the Chinese version from GearBest or somewhere else. I actually got mine through Light in the Box. And... Uh, because they offered a better deal uh, for the same projector at the time. Um, but you had to change out the Chinese language in the menus to English, um, you know, by basically adding in a, a file and then executing that file. Um, but that was really the only difference. Now they have an American version. Okay, when I say an American version, a version, an English version, excuse me. Uh, and I want you to see something here. Now, this is from the company. So, projector offers a light source brightness of 5,000 lumen, image brightness, ANSI 1600 lumens. See, we've tested in the past in OpenGate, and I've shared with you guys that we got about 2250. Uh, the highest I think I ever got, one time I got around 2,500, but I think that's because of, um, the, the meter uh, actually was picking up closer. We were down closer to the bottom source rather than center of the screen. And that was part of the problem with what we did, too, is I just took a linear measurement. And it wasn't me. I've got a, a friend that does some light installation. He, he does large light fixture installation for gyms and things like that. And he carries a lot of light meter tools. Um, as a matter of fact, he's the guy who does my gain. I, I don't test the gain on my screens because it's more, much more complex process and we'll talk about it in the gain series. Um, but as far as just measuring the illuminance of the screen, uh, you know, light meters will, will support that. Different ones and, and there's different claims across different, different products. But at the end of the day, you know, you just try to get a, a really nice ballpark average because most of the time, true gain and also the illuminance is tested in lab settings where you can get it completely dark. Um, so long story short, 
uh, we came up with roughly around 2250, which makes sense because we did it linear. And whenever you do a professional, um, when I say professional, like a lab based measurement of your ANSI lumens, it would be done with an average across the screen. So it would make sense to me that that 2250 would fall uh, a bit for an ANSI lumen rating. But just wanted to, to put that out there so that people were aware. Uh, I'm not knocking the projector. I love this little projector. But the reality is it's 1,600 lumens if you go through the same rating system that everybody's claiming on their projectors. For example, that HD143X is rated at 3,000 ANSI lumens. This one's rated at 1,600 ANSI lumens, okay, with a wider beam angle. So just for clarification out there, guys, not a 5,000 lumen projector, never has been, but still holds up exceptionally well in here. All right, so the next displays I'll be doing are going to be on Vega Long Throw. Uh, that'll be in the, the, I'll do that in the other room. The reason I haven't moved this for the other room for UST, and if you guys need me to, if somebody needs to see it in the other environment, uh, I will accommodate that. The only reason I have not is not because of the brightness of the room. I know what it'll do before I even take it in the room. It's because having to reset this up and configure it in there to get it so that it gives me a full image is a little more challenging because I don't really have any any tables or anything set up in that room so I'm more than happy to do it if somebody wants to see it uh, but if most of the folks I've talked to have told me that their UST environments kind of similar to this one uh, if that's not your case and you want to see it in a brighter environment more than happy to do it you guys just let me know all right you guys take care and we'll talk to you soon bye